Hello everybody and welcome back to the Forza Horizon 3 information show. So in today's video guys we are going to be discussing part 5 of the question and answer session. This is going to be the final part for this Q&A, um, just because I'd like to do 5 parts and keep it nice and clean. So I'd like to do 5 parts of this, it's going to be the last part of this Q&A, don't worry there will be more coming very soon. But before we get into today's video guys, if you are new around here, this is the Forza Horizon 3 information show. And all we do guys is we discuss Forza Horizon 3 to the max, up to the game's release uh, in September. And then a whole load, whole load of videos to come uh, after that, so stay tuned for those. If you do go on to enjoy today's video guys, a simple like would be appreciated. Simply slap that like button as hard as you can and subscribe so you can never miss a future Forza Horizon 3 informational video. So let's get right into the first question, guys. It comes from Braden Kelly, or or Braden Kelly, Brady Kelly. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm going to stay with Braden Kelly. <laughs> Where he says, when do you start making gameplay content? Will you be doing open lobbies? So gameplay content will be uh, occurring from the Friday evening um, that Forza gets released. Um, so obviously it actually gets released uh, in September, uh, the 27th which is a Tuesday, uh, but I've got the Ultimate Edition, so I get early access. So that means uh, I get it four days early, so I'll be able to play it on the 23rd of September, which is a Friday, which means a whole load of weekend gaming for me. Now, obviously, I do work. Obviously, in real life, that be, I'll do some more info about that at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but, yeah, I work, obviously, so I'm not back until about 4 o'clock, half 4 uh, British time. So the videos always come out on my channel at about 9 to half 9 GMT. Uh, that's obviously in, in the evening. Um, other countries, I'm not exactly sure when. So just uh, Google nine uh, or nine thirty p.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time, which is the British standard, uh, British standard time. So GMT, and uh, you can convert that to your local time. Uh, but that's when my videos come out uh, on the twenty third, the Friday. Uh, that I'm getting Forza Horizon three because I've got the Ultimate Edition. It'll come out on the twenty third, um, so I'll have it then. The gameplay content will come on that day. So I'll do about uh, between 5 and 10 minute videos every day. Uh, maybe two videos a day if I get a load done. Uh, and I've got a load of free time. Obviously I will have on that weekend. So expect loads of videos on that launch weekend. Um, but yeah, the gameplay content uh, will be coming then. So stay tuned for that. Uh, as well as open lobbies, I'll be doing a ton of them every weekend. So I'll make videos about them obviously when they're coming up. So you guys are kept in the loop. The next question comes from Taylor Key, and he asks, uh, you may have already gone over this, but I just don't remember, will you be able to make wheels smaller, giving you more tyre sidewall on the tyres for drag cars, and can we adjust the track width? Um, yes, you can make wheels smaller, and two, yes, you can adjust the track width. Uh, it's been confirmed when, I've, uh, when they were talking about the uh, customization options, uh, it's definitely a feature uh, within Forza Horizon 3, you can make the wheels smaller and you can adjust the track width. The next question comes from Carl Spencer, and he asks, Do you think that they will change the rev counter on electric or hybrid cars in the game? Also, fantastic videos. Great job. Thank you very much, Carl. Very much uh, appreciated of your support there, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, so, the rev counters, again, customization options. Most of these will be about customization, so um, I do try and cut the ones out that are exactly the same. I just try to mention as much as I can. Obviously, guys, if you are interested in customization, there is a video on my channel, so go and check that out. Uh, I go into depth about all the customization in game. But the rev counters, I do believe there will be different ones on electric cars and hybrid cars, etc. Uh, there's also definitely a uh, electronic dashboard and rev counter. Um, in a in the LaFerrari, I believe, uh, but obviously I might be mistaken, so don't hold me to that. But definitely there will be different kind of red counters and dashboards to correspond with the type of cars. Lucas Hurley asks, what do you think will be revealed at Gamescom? So Gamescom, guys, is much like E3 and uh, PAX East and stuff like that. It's like gaming, fe gaming festivals and gaming conferences. So Gamescom is one of the largest ones and normally happens, uh, it's actually happening in a few days. I think it starts sometime between the 14th, uh, around that time it's normally on. I haven't actually looked at the dates this year so I'm going to have to have a look and do that. But Forza Horizon 3 is at Gamescom, so that means in a few short days we'll be getting a ton of information about Forza Horizon 3 as well as hopefully some new gameplay and features. Uh, so I will be hopefully the first to try and bring you that news uh, as soon as it comes out obviously i will be posting them at 9 or 9 30 gmt that's when i post my videos um it doesn't matter if something really exciting comes out that's when i'm going to post them uh, so yeah just bear that in mind so gamescom i believe hopefully we'll see the full map we'll see a full list of cars that will be revealed uh, special vehicles as well such as the three wheelers um, and also 
um, a more in-depth look of the places that we can explore. That they'll be things that I would like to see. What would you like to see revealed at Gamescom, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. The next question comes from Smiles101, and he asks, he asks, how do you think they'll do the edge of the map on the desert area? Obviously because you can't put water there, or do you think they'll just put the inadvisable barriers there with small fences? By the way, great videos and info, keep up the awesome job, colon capital D. Thank you very much Smiles101, that's very much appreciated, I'm loving your support, thank you so much. So, I actually believe that, uh, because Australia obviously is an island, um, they'll just the edge of the map will be covered in water the others might be covered in just say just a random fence that comes around um the edge of the jungle area maybe if it's on the edge of the map but you know stuff like that so that would be quite cool to introduce so yeah i do think they'll introduce that um within the game uh thank you very much for your support as well it does mean everything thank you very much for everyone's support so far it's been absolutely insane George Harb asks, what car are you most looking forward to? Uh, I've actually answered this before, and the most car that I'm looking forward to, it hasn't actually been announced yet, but it is the um, Ford... Uh, oh my god, I can't even remember the name of it now. <laughs> Shows how much I care, doesn't it? Um, oh, that's it. It's the uh, Ford Sierra Codsworth RS500. So that's the one I'm most looking forward to. I couldn't actually think of the name. I knew it was a, I knew it was a classic Ford, but I didn't know the actual name. That's that's me in a nutshell, really. Um, but yeah, that's the car I'm most looking forward to. Hopefully it will be announced soon. Andrew Riddleson says, Great video, man. Keep up. Thank you very much, Andrew. Uh, he asks, What car do you most want to be in Forza Forza that hasn't been announced yet? And keep up the good work. You're almost at 2k subs. I'm actually past 2k subs now, so thank you very much for that. Um, again, same question really, but it's the Ford Sierra RS Cosworth. FBI Gaming asks, Will there be a new Ford Focus RS for Forza Horizon 3? Now, Forza Horizon 3 will include a hell of a lot of new vehicles. Uh, Ford Focus RS was in the last Forza Horizon, so there's a very great chance it will be in this one. Um, I do believe it will be the 2017 one that will be revealed uh, in Forza Horizon 3. My Lost Gaming asks, when you customise exhaust, is it going to change the sound or is it just for the looks? Uh, I'm not actually sure on this one. I definitely know that it will change the looks, um, but I can't be too certain about the sound. It would be an absolutely insane feature to put into the game. Um, Obviously, it does inc include a hell of a lot of, um, you know, detailed things to uh, be involved in the game. Uh, but I do actually think it could happen. You know, they are perfectly capable of doing so. So I do hope so. Michael B then asks, great video, man. Keep up. Thank you again, Michael. Very much appreciated. A question for the next Q&A. Do you think barn finds will be out in the open with no cover and also other times put away into a barn or garage? Um, barn finds are normally kept into abandoned garages like Forza Horizon 2 and covered up. So I think that's the way they're going to keep it within Forza Horizon 3, uh, just so it adds a bit of more exploration towards the game and a bit more depth and variety uh, to the exploration. Everything Else Hub asks, will they have normal cars like Skodas or Peugeots? Also, love your vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. That's very much appreciated, my friend. Thank you for all your, all your support. Um, Skodas or Peugeot, yes, there will be. There's already been a load of confirmed Peugeots as well. So go ahead and check out my confirmed car list videos. There's four of them so far. Three or four. Four. There's four. There's four of them, I believe, so far. Had to think then. Um, so you, you can find all the cars that have been confirmed so far, as well as obviously the race cars and supercars. There are a load of everyday cars, as well as classic cars and off-roaders. So that's all the information I have for you in today's video, guys. Uh, I did hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you'd like to be incorporated into Forza Horizon 3 in the comments below. I do try to read every single comment I can. Uh, as for early guys I mentioned about my work and everything, I'm doing a personal Q&A soon, I'll do a video about that tomorrow, uh, but basically it's just you can ask me anything you want, uh, just not regarding Forza Horizon 3 basically, so anything about my life, what I do, my lifestyle, my job, everything like that. But anyway, we'll get into that in uh, another video. But anyway guys, that is it for me in today's video, I did hope you enjoy it, if you did please leave a like on the video, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe so you never miss a future Forza Horizon 3 informational video. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you over in my next video guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.